Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 10 of my season 7 out of 17 Let's Play for the Experimental Branch. Um, last episode I totally forgot that we can make a freaking bike, bicycle now and I didn't do it so we're gonna start off by uh, getting that going. If I can, uh, yeah it looks like I actually put all the stuff away. <laughs> Sweet. Um, we got a wheel. Oh, that's so awesome. So we need to make one wheel to go with that. And I wonder, I know I put some of the important things over here. Yeah. So we didn't get like any bicycle parts or motorbike parts. So we'll need to look um what can we actually get to the motorbike already I think it's not locked behind levels oh yeah do we want to just skip over it because both of these take two tires how far away are we to Oh, you have to be level 50 for the motorcycle? Holy jiminy. Okay, um... Well, we're only level 30. Hmm, level 30. I'm trying to think. It would be a little bit better to have the mini bike. We get a little bit more storage and the mini bike would run off a of gas instead of our stamina. Whereas the bicycle, we can only sprint if we have the stamina. And the mini bike, you can sprint all day long. It just takes more gas. Uh, so, what we would need to start doing, hmm, I think we might need to hold off because we would definitely need to to be wrenching cars to do the mini bike because we're going to need lots and lots of gas and oh I think I, there I go I I used <laughs> I used up um let me see I don't think I actually used up a whole lot of gas what did I do with it I put it over here yeah I used up like 400 gas I used the chainsaw to cut down a bunch of trees and of course look I only have 140 wood so I used it all <clears throat> but I did use a repair kit on that so I ran it down used a repair kit and I've already used uh, that much of it so it was a good bit but this is like all the gas we have and got a couple of barrels but we just don't have a whole lot to like support a mini bike hmm but we do have some wrenches and we can repair them we have a couple of steel that means I would need to not use my steel pickaxe or at least use it and then not repair it because we only have two forged steel but at level 35 we can start making our own steel and then we can repair those wrenches as much as we want uh, so maybe we'll go ahead and make the mini bike oh I just don't know I don't know what let's look at the difference between I mean do we even see the recipes yes we do that just takes uh the only difference i think is this takes an engine and a car battery Ooh, we we would have to go i think we got an engine but i don't think we have a battery yet um the bicycle just takes one mechanical parts so, okay so that's the big difference is an engine and a battery but um and this these are only just a few forged iron oh my cat she's going crazy again uh, duct tape we, we have like all the stuff and things to do 
to do the bicycle for sure. So let's, before we decide, let's make sure we have the stuff for this. Uh, forged iron, mechanical parts, duct tape leather, electrical parts. Okay, none of that looks like things we can't do. And all of this looks like uh, things we can do. So I don't, I think we should go ahead and go with the mini bike because honestly, I love wrenching cars. We might, um, we might go ahead and this is something I haven't really put a point into. So we have two points available right now. I don't really know that this just takes in six, but we don't have um, the beakers to make the chemistry station. At least I thought um, it takes two beakers. Yeah, it still takes two beakers, so we can't, if I put a point in there, it's sort of wasted until we can get the beakers. I mean, is there a way to make the beakers? No. Okay, so if I had gotten a beaker, I would have put it in here. And I don't see one, and I haven't, uh, I think if I saw one, on the trader I would have noted that <laughs> so I don't think we're uh, we don't need to really worry about that until we get those beakers so I think I'm gonna go ahead and spend the point in the mini bike and then go over to the perception and put the point into salvage operations and I'll bet I'll I'm going to put more points in this later and probably the lucky looter. Hmm, that looks interesting too. So I think as I level up my perception, I'm probably going to level these things up along with it. Because I think those are pretty important too. We, we do a lot of looting. So adding a loot bonus that might uh, be pretty cool. And then that also narrows down the buried treasure, which I think is, you know, okay. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's see. That's a level one wrench. Let's, let's check back over here again. Yeah, we have an engine. Let's just take these <laughs> wrenches. Um, I think that's all of the wrenches, is it? I think I may have put one over here. Okay, no. Okay, so first of all, we're going to have to go wrench some cars to get a battery in. Uh, because we have the engine, so let's get our axe and put that there and we'll just use these wrenches up um let's see which way is town uh, once we get our bike i do want to go through the town a little and explore and try to um see if we can find any I don't know, farms or gardens. We did mark a garden on the map where there's there's a little garden. I think this is it. Yeah. It's got like corn and so it'll be good to go and we'll be able to get over there pretty quick with a mini bike. But let's just head over to this area. There should be plenty of cars over, over there for us to wrench and take apart. Oh man, having a mini bike will be, I mean, I normally get the, the bicycle first, but I completely forgot about it last episode. And I'm kind of glad that I took the extra time to, to I don't know, think about it since we, we can do the, the mini bike. We might as well go ahead. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness.
Oh! Ah! Oh! Dude, that is a big wolf. Look at that. He sort of died standing up. <laughs> My cat, she's trying to get into those. Ooh, we got a 30 for that. Awesome. That is one scary puppy, let me tell you. Um, trying to, I think, did we get the, the car in front of this house or something? I think we did. I still haven't made the hammer. Oh my god! <laughs> he stepped on a landmine and that scared the bejeebus out of me. Oh my god! Oh! Mr. Chin! That is horrible, horrible! Um... I don't know, let's go see. Can... Can we take these apart? Are these, um... Deconstructible? No, they're like a structure block. They're no longer cars, they're squished. <sighs> okay. That's no good. I wouldn't want to sit there and wrench 2500. Oh, there's a car. Um And there's a car. Let's go get this one. <sighs> Hold on. She's <laughs> She's trying to get to her treats. I can't help picking up those dang rocks. Even though I know I got tons of rocks. Ooh, there's another car over there too. And I think we might want to make sure we'll probably have a better chance of getting the engine and the battery from the cars that have at least two levels. I mean, I think we can get them from the last level, but we'll just have um, twice as much of a chance of getting it. Oh, look, there's a grill right there. Maybe we should uh, check that thing out real quick since we're right here. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, rotten meat. Rotten meat. Oh, look, there's a like a little trail of cars down this road. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Oh, and there's a headlight. Just for a bike. I don't know if you can hear that, uh, but if you hear that sound, that's my cat scratching at the little stool. It's not really a stool, it's like a, a cardboard box with, um, not really cardboard, more like maybe press board or something with a, like, I don't know, um, Oh, I didn't even power attack that guy. <laughs> okay, it looks like this wrench is just about done. So let's work on this one. We still haven't gotten an, uh, a battery. This is like a whole car. Wow. You don't see them all the time. This one, you just get a little bit of metal, and I think at the very end, you get some leather. Oh, we didn't even get the leather on that. Hmm. That's interesting. I would think you would have like a better chance to get all of the different items from that third tier. But it looks like you only get metal just weird. Still nothing, nothing. Okay. We might as well get these because I think, um, I don't, I didn't check how much plastic we had, but the tires take a, a good bit of plastic. Oh man, look at this road. There's like two cars down there. There's two cars over there. No cars that way, so 
I wasn't e I wasn't even looking while I was wrenching. I was gandernecking everywhere. Mr. Chen, are you gonna come say hi? He's just gonna he's like, I don't see anybody. I know she's got a big hammer. I'm not gonna mess with her. Nope. Um looks like we need to eat a little and possibly drink. I'm keeping my eye on those chins over there. Seeing if they're gonna like try to sneak up on me while I'm looting my cars. I'm really glad they fixed this um, <laughs> in like the the early part of Alpha 17. Gathering anything was just horrible. Um, like you couldn't get through one level of the car without having to stop. Oh, we did get, we got the battery. Let's go ahead and loot this car while we're here though. Wrench it. That's what I meant. Loot and wrench. But yeah, it used to be horrible to loot the cars. I'm glad they redid it because I were, like wrenching the cars has been one of my favorite things to do in, in uh, Seven Days to Die. I don't know why. It just um, something about it. I see you, Mr. Chin. You trying to sneak up on me? It's not gonna work cause I got a hammer. I got a hammer. Oop. I don't think it takes two power attacks to kill him. It only takes one and then a normal swing. So I don't need to waste two power attacks on them. Because that's 50 stamina for each power attack. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, it didn't... It didn't kill him because I didn't land my power attack correctly in the, in the head. So that was no good. You gotta make sure you land the, the power attacks right on his chin. Because while he is his most powerful, <laughs> his strongest place, it's also his weakest place. So if you land it, that, that totally makes sense, right? his strongest and his weakest place. Oh man, I can't stop looting the rocks. So we got, I think we got, oh look at that, we got three batteries. We got two batteries off of that one car, that's awesome. So now we can go back. We. I'm surprised we didn't get another engine or anything. Oh, I just can't stop looting. Um, We'll scrap that. I know I got the room, but we also we also picked up quite a bit of gas. That's good. So let's see, can we make do we have the stuff to make a wheel on us? No. We don't we don't have the coal or the forged iron. We'll have to go back and make sure we, we queue up some iron. I don't think I have any any iron just laying around. So this will um, I over the course of the night I was able to go down and dig up um, quite a bit of dirt so I was able to plant uh, well place the farmland and uh, I went ahead and got that tilled up with the hoe and yeah so it's ready to go that's why I want to I want to go head into town it's just so hard to cover a lot of ground in one daytime setting. Um, I don't think that hit him on his head. I think that was more like a chest, but I guess it was close enough because he only took 
one no one look at. Yeah, it's so hard to get get around and get back uh, before it gets dark. So getting this mini bike should help us get to where we're going a lot faster. It'll give us more storage. We won't be dependent on our stamina anymore, which will be really awesome. <laughs> be like getting that uh, <laughs> chainsaw. Okay, so we can put these, yeah, let's put them over here. Oh yeah, they are just a little bit jacked. So we did get those three batteries. I don't think the quality of the battery matters in like the making of the bicycle. I think these, they, it might matter like if you make a battery bank <laughs> and you place them in there. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll get a thousand to, to put in our bike. Okay, so we need to put some of these things away. Oh yeah, look at all that. A hundred and twelve plastic. Oh, we had almost two hundred up there too. That's sweet. Okay, get some oil, electrical parts. All right, and this other stuff goes other places. Uh, but let's see, we're going to need a headlight, I think, for one of the pieces. Let's just grab out some things and hopefully, oh, I think, did that stuff take duct tape? Because we don't have an awful lot of that. Um, let's check it out. Um... No, we need, we need to make one tire. So what we need is two forged iron, two oil, and ten coal. Two oil. And the coal is going to be over here. And I don't, I uh, hope we have, we have just a little we have 30 that's for the hammer but we're probably gonna have to dip into that <laughs> all right here we go craft in our second tire bada bing and now we need the the handlebars and the chassis oh we gotta oh we're gonna just wait for the airdrop um, there it is. Because, I mean, it'd be a lot easier to go after it once our mini bike has been made. Um, did we have, okay. I thought we had another airdrop, but I guess not. Alright, so let's continue with our mini bike. Pipe, so it looks like we got everything. Oh, this part takes Four duct tape. Okay. We have two and we have two glue. Wow. Okay. There we go. We might wind up having to make some more. Okay, mini bike handlebars. Oh, we got to craft that in the workbench. There we go. And that's not going to take long at all. So let's go ahead and look at the chassis. That's going to, oh, okay. Well, oh, we're going to need four more duct tape. So we're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to um, make some glue. Oh, you know, this takes, like, the, this takes the other water. Oh, I think it takes 
I, I hope it only takes one. Let's see. Glue. What? Okay, we have the... I thought it took two... If you use the fire. Hmm. That is interesting. Okay. So it only takes one bone. I thought it took two. So interesting. We need more glue. And that will just take it a minute. We can throw this other stuff away. I'm really, uh... <laughs> I'm really worried because I really I don't have a lot of food so getting this farm going is really gonna alleviate that let's put some of this stuff away while we're waiting we do have some meat so I might go ahead and I don't know make up like eight there we go. Eight just regular meat. The grilled meat. Ah! It moved. Just to get us through until our farm gets going. Now, is that going to cook? No, we're going to need another wood. There we go. That way I can put these bacon and eggs away for when I need healing. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. We can put that up there. Nope. Over here. Feathers. Oh. Ammo. Um... What am I doing with the painkillers and stuff? Did I just... There it is. Aha! I found the secret location. Okay, so... Gotta make that duct tape. Awesome. Okay. Um, I believe we needed... Ten of that. I hate to do that, but we can always make more. We might want to get a little bit more going. Uh, let's yeah, let's make ten more to replace what we did. There we go. Okay, so was that everything? Mini bike chassis. Oh, we need the four leather. Ah, we almost got everything. There we go. Oh, that's going to take a minute. No. Okay. But that's like the last piece. So while that's making, let's go ahead and... We'll throw these things back in there. We're gonna grab our food. Don't wanna forget that. Um, that's the last piece we need for mini bike. Oh yes. Hmm. Okay, so what we might have to do is we'll probably need to start carrying around a wrench too. Oh my God. I don't have enough room <laughs> for all the tools. Um, yeah, cause I mean, the iron sledgehammer can break everything, but you don't get materials out. And that's what I'm interested in. I need the stuff. I need the stuff and things. There's our chassis. Now, do I have to make that in here as well? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. That one doesn't take near as long, but we're going to go, we're going to run and get the airdrop. That's probably going to have most things and fill our inventory up 
very quickly. Then we're going to run to the garden. And we're going to, like, just go have a look around town and see, um, see if we can find any more little uh, gardens or plots with plants in it. <laughs> you know, like the little blueberry patch that we uh, found on one of our first days. They have potato and corn patches like that too. And that's really what I'm interested in. Oh, and it's tier four. Awesome. I don't, I think that adds to durability only. So that's cool. And it has modification slots. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know what kind of modifications you can add to it, but it sounds amazing. So we need corn. So hopefully we could find some corn. We have one potato seed that could get us going, but I'd like more. Uh, we also have some mushrooms that we could turn into seeds, but I'd also like some more of those too, but probably not going to, you know, find something like that. But let's get going because it's 13 o'clock <laughs> and the clock is not stopping for us. So let's get this puppy down. Oh, look, it's got a little flashlight on it. Why is it on fire? And I can't place it down. Let's go up here where it's level and see if we can, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, it looks like it needs perfectly level ground to place it. Oh, it looks a little different. I like it. It looks like it look, it's got smoke coming off of it. That looks awesome. Uh, let's fill it up with gas. Where's the gas? Right here. Refuel. Let's look at how much storage it has. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's amazing. Wow, it's got a pretty small tank. It only holds 100 gas. Um, the only bad thing about the vehicle storage is you cannot place, you cannot pick it up if you have things in it. So we could like, um, I don't know, we could put our wrench down here. We probably won't need our pickaxe or shovel. So we could do something like that. Maybe put a couple of things in there. And um, let's go ahead and eat. I guess we didn't really need to eat. It's just, it, it's at 99 of 100, so I thought we were down a little bit. And drink. Yeah, we're, we're good on food and drink. So we could like throw that stuff in there. I always carry the iron around to, um, repair my weapon, but I guess we don't really need that on us either. There we go. All right, let's head to the airdrop. Oh, it goes so slow. <laughs> let's kick it up a notch. Try to stay on the roads because it'll probably be a lot easier to travel. Yeah, it looks like the, the airdrop is pretty close to the road. So we'll just head, head down the road as much as we can. Yeah, let's let's put a quick waypoint like right here. Maybe we'll just go down to that and then cut over. I don't know. Uh, looks like we're going into the wasteland biome, so it'd probably be easier to go on the road instead of cross country because there's so many bricks and metal and rocks and I mean everything just all over the place. I don't know, this is a charred biome, not a wasteland, so yeah. charred biomes still have, they still have like all the wood and crap. Every, everything you hit with the mini bike, it, it does damage to it in the bicycle, so that's not good. What is that? 
Oh, that's the laundromat. Okay. All right, let's see where... Oh, we're almost there. So, right here where the road is all... Converging on three different roads. We'll go down this one, I think. Yeah, and then we'll go straight down here. Oh, look, it even turns. Oh! Yeah, we want to go that way. Excellent. Looks like there's a whole nother part of the town over here. That's awesome. More to, like, a paper mill. I haven't been in that type of building yet, so that might be interesting to go check out. Okay, we're we're almost there. It looks like it might Did it go in this POI? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's uh, park bikey down here where it's flat. I don't like it that it leans over like that, but... All right, here's our airdrop. Hey, look, there's a passing gas. Uh, this looks like a pretty run-down one. Oh, what is that? Spike Knuckles? It's a... It's not a mod. It's... It's a schematic. Um, I'm just having a look around while we're here. Looks like some kind of power plant type thing over there. Look, there's some sort of apartment building way over there. <sighs> there's there's so many POIs that I haven't been in <laughs> that I I wanna I wanna visit them at least once, you know. Alright. Uh let's go to the garden because I want to first of all get uh I know it has a little bit of corn. So, let's do that, and we can remove this. Awesome. Oh man, this is a pretty, pretty good metropolis like in our first one. I can't believe Bob sends us five and six kilometers away with like three or four different towns so close to us. It's crazy. I mean... Alright. Um, I think if we just... If we just go straight... <clears throat> yeah, let's go straight down this road. Oh, look at that. A used car lot. Dude. This is like... Look at that. This is my dream land right here. <laughs> I know this wasn't part of our regularly scheduled program, but... I just have to. I have to. Like, Hello, Mr. Zomber. He's going to blow something up over there. Oh, no, he's over there. Where are they? Okay, let's just uh, continue. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love it. I think there's we're waking up the zombies in the building, which is... Wow, that's... um. They got 
some really good ears. What is that waterworks? That might be interesting to go look at too. Hello? Give me that gas, thank you. Oh, I backed up. And, oh, third time's the charm, right? Oh, like this is my dream. Just to have a whole car lot all to myself. And I can just wrench and wrench. And not only is there a car lot here, but there's a parking lot across there that has more cars in it. Oh my god. Oh look, we got another engine. That's great. I think we're, we're waking more guys up. I'm just going to keep an eye over there. It looks like we got another guy. <laughs> They're going to be busy trying to break out of that place, so we can grab all the stuff we want. Haha. Uh -huh. You'd probably be better trying to go through the fence, the fence, you know, just saying. Oh, here comes another guy. Is this your car? I'm sorry. Not sorry. Oh, yeah, this one looks pristine. Somebody was taking care of that. Oh, I love it. I love work. I love taking the cars apart. I don't know why. It just gives me great satisfaction to like destroy something and get something in return for it. I don't know. Does that make any sense at all? <laughs> like they're rewarding me for tearing something apart by giving me stuff. <laughs> so, I mean, it's one thing to like just find it lying on the ground, but when you get to break something and they give you stuff in return, that's just awesome. So look at all these cars. I love it. We're getting tons of experience too. Oh, God. oh my God. I think somebody bro broke one of my cars. Hey, that's my car back there. I was saving it. Dang it. Oh, look. Uh, the suit boy over there. How did he get through? Oh, he must have climbed over. He must have gotten on top of uh, the other zombie's head and climbed over. You just keep working at it. Just keep working. Just keep working. You can do it. Oh, I hit the thing. Come on, you can do it. Come over here. Oh, I hit his arm. Oh, wow, there's another suit back there. Come on. Oh, I missed. There, I didn't miss that time. You didn't destroy my car, did you? Was that you back there? I don't appreciate that one bit. This is not getting my... I just can't pass this up. I love it. Okay, one last car. One last car. That's it. No more. We'll, like, mark this. This is... Car lot. Hey! I know they're destroying my cars back there, and I don't appreciate it. Okay, last car. I promise. And then we're going to go to that garden, and we're going to pick the garden. Oh, yeah. Look at all that stuff. Ah, cars are the best. Oh, my goodness. Is that, oh, that's a military camp over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're hitting the landmines. Oh, phew. They're not destroying my cars. That's good. That's good. That is really good. That's also something uh, that we might want to look at soon. Because we might be able to find some... Uh, 
nice military armor in there or some weapons. Look at that. Yeah, landmine down there. Awesome. We got all the stuff and things from the cars. That's awesome. There's still more cars here to loot. So I definitely want to come back to this. But <laughs> we, we definitely want to go find that garden. Um, which let's, let's go see if this will turn to the north, this road, hopefully it will, otherwise we're going to have to go cross country. Ah, excellent. Sweet. It's heading right to where we need to go. Except we're going to run out of road. Um, let's see if we can come over here. Nope, that's not a road. Where's that garden? It's over here. I see it now. Yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, we might leave like the golden rod, just because I need, <laughs> need more room with all my car looting. So we definitely want this corn, because we only have like <laughs> two bits of corn. Might as well punch the dead ones too, because they're worth experience as well. Um, we can grab the blueberries too, I guess. But we definitely want those potatoes. We'll leave the golden rod because I don't... Um, unless they've worked on it, I just don't know that it works. <laughs> That's not a whole lot, but I guess it's better than nothing. Um, we still got a couple of hours the episode ends so I want to just try to explore as much of this as I can and see if we can find any more gardens or plots with um, our vegetables in there uh, that one's got a little bit of a garden but it's just for the drinks I want like the Corn and potato. Oh, this is Graceland. That's that's too much to go into right now. So we. Uh, I need to like mark that though. Mark that. This is um. Graceland. Because we definitely will want to check that out sometime you know maybe if we have a oh here's another ju uh, car lot that's an older one that's okay though because they still have cars look at this man there's um, a gentleman's club and a hotel right across the road <laughs> what do you think that means Um, I've also never been in... Oh, there's a special Tots. Hmm. Bob's Bakery we've never been in. There's another car lot. Not seeing a lot of... Oh, this isn't helping. <laughs> this rain and fog is not helping me to see, like, if there's a garden or something around. What is that big building over there? Oh, I think we've been over this way. Yeah, let's kind of go to the west here. Because we haven't uncovered that. Oh, look, it's got a road. Arrgh! Is 
it's a adult movie store. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Look at that! That's the first building I've seen that's been floating. I mean, wow. And it's like an old one, too. It's made of concrete, so it might be an actual stable structure. Those might actually support. So like, um, that's actually on the ground. It just doesn't look like it is. You can't, like, place a block under there. So that is actually supporting it. It's this one over here that isn't on the ground. Ah, I fixed it. <laughs> It's not going to fall now because of my frames. <laughs> oh, that's the first floating building I've seen since, like, uh, you know, the first couple of patches they did. So, wow. I was not expecting that. Well, let's keep going. We gotta, we gotta find some more veggies. Um, we're still going into, yeah. Oh, come on, you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Here's another specialty. Oh, another used car lot. Oh my gosh. I want to stop and loot. My wrench is so jacked. Won't be able to loot very much. Okay, um... Didn't see anything with- Oh, look at this! Oh, that looks like potatoes! Yes! Oh, yes! That's what I wanted to find right there. That's amazing. Gonna get uh, a lot of potatoes to plant on the farm now. Oh, yes! I saw a zombie. Yeah, he's he's pretty far away. I think we're okay. I think we'll be able to get all of the potatoes. Look, we're getting experience for this. Look, that's over 300. How much are we getting per potato? That's like 10. 11 per potato. Oh, that's pretty nice. Because that's a lot of potatoes. Nice. I like it. Um, I think uh, what I want to do with this first farm is just do um, potatoes, corn, and mushrooms. Because those are going to be like... Uh, we can use the potatoes and corn. I still want to look uh, and maybe find some corn too because we only have a little bit. Maybe we'll get lucky. I want to... Yeah, let's turn right up here. And then I think there's another street where we can come down. Back down that way see if there's any more because I can't see very far in all of this uh... oh, this is getting into the desert look there's a little diner oh dude I want to go I want to go oh no doggos I don't want to oh. and we're getting hot too because this is a hot biome Oh look, this is another multiple structure. It's got poppin' pills, shamways, easy sofas, and and a bar. Pete's pub. 
Hmm. All right, did that, um... Now let's keep going down this road. See if there's anything else down here. Another Butcher Pete's. Oh, really? Oh, really? Auto parts. Oh, dude, that's an auto part store. Holy. I want, I want in that. Um, oh, man, look at this. Oh, really? It's auto parts. <laughs> I love it. Look at this. This is huge. I want to go in there and look at the cars. There's cars just taunting me saying, look, come loot me. I am awesome. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sneaking up on me while I'm drooling over my auto parts store. Look at that. Look at that. You too. You too, shark man. Shark. Shark. Oh. Shark. Oh, and look, there's a working stiff right there. Oh, man, we're going to mark this on the map. Holy cow. Oh, really? <laughs> that's, a good, that's a great name, man. That's so awesome. Oh, really? It's auto parts. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Okay, well, we're sort of out of time now. Um, I'm probably going to continue on exploring the town. I'm only just looking for some corn. <laughs> I just want some corn, man. Just give me my corn. I'll be on my way. Okay, this is where we sort of already discovered. Okay, we could... Go. I'm probably going to just explore a little bit uh try to find some corn i'm not gonna like go and loot anything even though i really would love to go into the oh really auto parts store but um maybe we'll do that next episode we'll go check out O'Reilly's auto parts so anyway thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye